depending on if John is your favorite character or your least favorite character, might determine how you feel about this episode of Attack on Titan Junior High, because this was a John episode focused entirely around him and his love life. So, if you're not a big fan of romance as well, you might also not like this. So, personally, since I am a fan of romance, I'm a fan of shoujo manga, and I've always loved, you know, like, you know, ships and stuff in my different series, I actually enjoyed this episode, but I could see where this episode could be disliked by many, because this is, by far, I think, out of all the episodes of Attack on Titan Junior High, this is the, the most different, because of the theme of it. The core theme of it is just so different from the normal Attack on Titan Junior High episodes, but also from Attack on Titan in general. So, John, he gets a love letter. And this love letter leads into to where he feels like every girl in his class is gunning for him. So he believes he has a harem. Now, this personality trait of John has been around since the original Attack on Titan. We remember how he had a crush on Mikasa and, you know, he loved her. And, you know, how she's never really shown him any love back. Well, he does have this crush on her. And seeing how this came full circle, I mean, he was looking at all the girls in the class, like, oh, I'm popular and all that. He's like, oh, this girl wants to go out with me. And he's looking at all the girls, like Christia. He's looking at Ymir, Ani. He's looking at Mikasa, he's looking at, you know, Potato Girl, he's looking at everybody. And as he looks at everybody, he's thinking like all these different girls are coming after him, and he has his own little mini harem. Like, one by one, as the girls come into the room, he starts picturing in his mind that these girls are going to come after him and just start asking him out, or doing their own different, like, shy antics. I'm like, oh, I've always loved you and stuff. And, I mean, there's some very funny moments throughout this episode, because, I mean, if you liked, you know, the, the female cast of Attack on Titan, they played a little bit of a role in this episode, and you saw how they were interacting with John, and, then, you know, he's like, oh, I, I've always loved you, or, you know, how he's acting like he's smiling and smirking and stuff pretty funny and then eventually when it came down to like you know the, all the girls like just pulling on John's limbs and his head it looked like a harem it looked like something you would see from a fan service harem and I'm like oh my god like is Attack on Titan about to turn into a harem and then one thing led to another to where we found out it might have been Ani and I'm like whoa whoa the one I least expected would be Annie and I'm like Annie of all people would give in that whoa just hold the phone Stop it right now, like, what? And then, as it continued all going on, I was thinking in my mind, like, there, there's no fucking way. Like, there, there, there is no fucking way Ani is going after John. I'm like, this is not possible. And as it continued moving on, like, I, I was thinking in my mind, I did, it crossed my mind at one point, like, I would laugh my ass off if a Titan was asking him out. That, that's why I fought in the earlier stages of the episode. That's what I was assuming, which it does turn out to be a Titan. But then we got to, you know, Ani, and she started revealing that she was the one with the love letters. I'm like, what? So we're gonna have, like, a relationship between John and uh, Annie? And I'm like, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So... I, at that moment, I, I didn't know what to think. Like, my mind just crashed because I was like, this, this character going after John, I mean, what? And then when we found out it was a ploy and it was a female Titan, I'm like, oh, oh, okay. It, it all makes sense now because, I mean, there, there's no way John could have luck with her. There, there, there's no way. There, there's just no fucking way. So when the female Titan came around and then we found out the reason why the Titan loved him because, you know, he shared food, but he was scared. It popped into that female Titan's mouth. I'm like, really? So, I mean, there's some very funny moments throughout this episode that really got me. And I have to hand it to Attack on Titan Junior High for being very different from previous episodes. And it doesn't really just focus on the parody comedy like it normally does. This actually was an entirely new episode that tried to breathe a bit of fresh air into Attack on Titan Junior High. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.